Yo, what's up, folks? It's Charmander. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Uh, we have CGC slabs here, graded Pokemon cards. These are all 10s. We're going to look through all of them. We're going to save some of these other slabs for another video. We have a lot of graded Pokemon cards here. If you are unfamiliar with different grading companies, here's a look at CGC, DSG, PSA, BGS, and GMA. I gotta get a nine tails for GMA. So we have different grading companies. Uh, my favorite grading company is CGC. And there's a lot of reasons, but this video isn't for that. We're just gonna take a look at some of the graded Pokemon cards that I got in my latest return. So if you can tell, what I like about CGC, one of the things is that they have subgrades that they offer. And so you can tell the difference between, you can you can see why it got a 9.5. It got a 10 in edges and a 9.5 in centering surface and corners. If you look at another card that has subgrades, um, there is an extra fee for subgrades. You can see that this got a 10 in centering, a 10 in corners. So those two 10s generally would make this card a stronger or better condition Pikachu VMAX, if that makes sense. And if it got another 10 here, then it would be upgraded to a pristine 10. Uh, not all cards have subgrades. I'm sure we'll come across some examples. Oh, here, here's an example. So they don't always have subgrades. You got to pay an extra for an extra fee for subgrades. Um, and so getting a 10 is relatively challenging. Uh, we'll look at some of these tens that I have here. This is a perfect 10. This actually isn't my card. I got this graded for a friend and it came back a perfect 10. 10, 10, 10, 10. That is very hard to get. That is the highest grade you can get. I believe if you send in a card without the subgrades, but it is a perfect, they will actually put the subgrades on there. There's Malamar. We have these two cards are also my friend's cards. Um, it's called a pristine 10 if it doesn't have a, all 10s. So this has a 9.5 in surface, giving it a pristine 10. And this is Red's Pikachu. So close to getting a perfect 10. Pristine 10, Red's Pikachu. Very nice card. Uh, well, let's look through. I mean, I have like a... I have no space here. This is a small amount of the, the graded Pokemon cards that I have. But we are going to look through the 10s. This video is going to focus on CGC 10s. It's already been three minutes and we haven't even gotten really into like the meat of it. Here's the meat and potatoes. Um, shoot, I think my, my stand is a, is a little too elaborate. <laughs> my Lego stand here. Maybe I, maybe I should use this. I have a I have a turntable as well. I don't know. I tried different different things for stands, but this video isn't about that. <laughs> We're gonna focus on the tens because I really want to show showcase all my tens in this video. Uh, we do have another CGC return coming back soon, so I might have to make another video. But this is Dragon Ball Shinron. Check that out. I don't have a whole lot of Dragon Ball uh, in my collection. I believe they just started grading Dragon Ball. But dang, I'm in love with these slabs. These look so nice compared to like a loose card, you know, in a top loader. It's okay, but you don't know the condition of these. You can you could say near mint and it's it's so nice to have cards actually graded. Okay, there's Goku. Those are my two Dragon Ball cards that I had. Here is Pikachu VMAX, Pristine 10. We're gonna just roll through them. Mew, I do have some like, little like string all over there. Mew, CGC 10. See, that means I have to re-sleeve this now. This is from the Japanese uh, 25th. So I have this so that we can use this. Oh, this is Umbreon. 
I'm gonna make a whole video just on Umbreon's. So I like to collect different Pokemons like Gengar, Blastoise, Lugia, Dragonite, Tyranitar, Magikarp, Alakazam, uh, Ninetales, Arcanines, Houndooms, Mewtwo's, Mews, Venusaur's. It just it goes on and on and on. Uh, but we'll be making a Umbreon video soon, showcasing all the Umbreons. Maybe I should put that on the side then. Yeah. We have Rayquaza. This is from VMAX Climax, one of the newest sets. Wow, perfect 10. Very rare to see a perfect 10. Very nice card. This one got a 10. Uh, no subgrades, pristine 10, Turtwig. Oh, we have Misty's Favor. Check that out. That is a perfect 10. Perfect. I don't know, I have this Gengar light, and I really like to have this Gengar light in as much videos as I can. But we're going to focus on the, the slabs here. Perfect 10. This is from Miracle Twins, the Japanese Unified Minds. Very nice. Waifu Misty card. Oh, we have another Perfect 10. Green's Exploration. The majority of these cards uh, were graded by myself. Perfect 10. Once in a while, uh, I'll, I'll check eBay and maybe pick up a 10 here or there if it's affordable. Um, dang, this is from Tag Team GX All-Stars. That set has gotten, that, that set has just skyrocketed um, in recent years. Up next, we have Erica. Erica, Erica's Hospitality. Even these cards loose. Um, for example, I think this one goes for nearly $200. And then graded in a pristine 10, you're looking upwards to four, five, six, eight, to like even a thousand for some of these pristine 10s. Very nice, Erica. Uh, I collected all the gym leaders. From Kanto, from Gen 1. Sabrina's Suggestion. Oh, shoot. See, I made this stand so I could have, like, multiple... Like, if I'm ripping packs on whatnot, then I can, like, sell loose cards or packs. But, I don't know, maybe this stand is too big. So, I'll show you what I can do. I'll show you what I can do. This is a good example. We can uh, transform this. We can transform this into just the, the lower layer here. Huh? Isn't that unique? You can do anything with Legos, folks. Here's one more look at Sabrina's suggestion. And then we have Blue's Tactics. We have so many cards to get through that <laughs> it's going to be a little challenging to... To go through them all i maybe because i keep going on tangents i don't want to rush i want to give each card enough time of appreciation <laughs> let's see we got red's challenge here red's challenge that's a nice one again some of these are just like a 0.5 off from getting a perfect 10 and I'm just happy with pristine 10s as it is, because that is relatively challenging. And I, I don't know if um, the grading company will keep it as challenging or if they'll ease up and be more lenient. Who knows? Um, could go either way. I just, I just saw Spider-Man and Batman recently i think i liked spider-man a lot more batman I mean, dc was a little too serious to be honest um it was a little slow while, while, while spider-man had more comedy to it um it was more fast-paced i enjoyed it a lot more anyways that's marnie in a pristine 10 we had oh we went we we went backwards whoops up next, we have Rosa. 
We have a lot of waifu girls. This, oh, this is a perfect 10. Perfect 10. It's so nice to see 10s across the board from 2019 Dream League. I notice uh, certain sets do better for grading. Dream League is one of them. Japanese. Um, this one's also from Dream League. This is Lily's Full Force. Perfect 10. Dream League, again. Such a beautiful set. Has a lot of character rares. Character secret rares. Um, not to mention Rosa and Lily. Oh, and N. <laughs> a husbano. <laughs> not a waifu. See, this one does not have the subgrades. But it's still got a pristine 10. So you can still get 10s. Um, without having to pay for the extra subgrades. But for a card like this, for example, um, oh, okay, I did play, I did pay for the, the subgrades. Some of them, like I mentioned before, if it gets a perfect, they put the subgrades on. Flareon V from EV Heroes. EV Heroes actually does grade really well, um, as well. Does grade well as, as well. <laughs> uh, Evolving Skies, not so much. It's it's a little more rare to see uh, tens for English, but here is an example of a pristine ten in English. Most of the cards we have in a ten are Japanese. Baby Shiny Zora. We have Ponyta, Galarian Ponyta from Shiny Star V. I am just uh, shocked and surprised with um, the amount of tens that I've been getting in my return. Uh, pristine ten, Pikachu, definitely a very iconic card. This is from Dream League again. Uh, you really can't have too many of this card because it is so iconic, so nostalgic to the game. We have Dragapult. Pristine 10. One of the coolest sword and shield Pokemon. Um, I think we have some more Dragapult somewhere else. Arctovich V. CGC Pristine 10. Kind of a low win 10. Some of these aren't like crazy, crazy, you know, super rare cards. But a 10's a 10. It's nice to have any card in a CGC 10. Alteria. All right, we gotta make use of this stand. <laughs> Acerola Intuition. Acerola's Intuition. This is from VMAX Climax. Honestly, one of my, I like this more than the Gloria and even more than the Galar friends. I think this is, um, a great chase card. I don't know. She she's the the mini Q trainer, right? Oh dang, we have some more waifu girls. Rosa, Aroma Lady, perfect ten. Dang, check that out. One of the things that's a little difficult for filming and like recording this is that. If I want to post this on YouTube, I actually have to rotate my phone like this way, you know, for reels or for TikTok. But YouTube, you have to have it horizontal. Just some like background behind the scenes rant. <laughs> Duraludon VMAX. Um, dang. Check this out. He's on top of Duraludon. Raihan. VMAX Climax Pristine 10. Sometimes it's just that 0.5 that keeps it away from being a perfect 10. Uh, let's see what we have next. Galarian Darmanitan again. Even though, even though Darmanitan is not like a super popular Pokemon, especially the Galarian form, it's so nice to have a perfect 10. Perfect 10 anything is nice to have. If it, if it gets a perfect, then heck, I'll take it. I think there's a debate over 
do you sell the tens now? I mean, they, they go for such a high value. Um, as a collector, I man, it is hard to give up pristine 10 Gengar, even though there will probably be more tens in the market. Um, I just why would I want to sell a, a pristine 10 Gengar? I love it. <laughs> I want this in my collection. So maybe the lower end tens I could sell. But dang, shoot, I can look at that card all day. We got, oh, shoot, this is another Gengar. We'll just put one back and you can tell the difference. This one has a 9.5 in edges, 9.5 in corners. I do not mind having duplicates of Gengar in a 10. We have Dragonite V 2021. This is from Blue Sky Stream. We're going to have actually a lot of Dragonites to get through, I believe. Let's just run through them. Actually, this is really unique. This is from Evolving Skies. Very rare to see Evolving Skies get a perfect, uh, pristine tan. There's a difference between English and Japanese. I think it looks really nice with this silver borders instead of the, the yellow. This one is a perfect tan from Blue Sky Stream. Dragonite V, one of my favorite artworks from this set. Um, in fact, one of my favorite artworks of Dragonite. Hanging around because you have Feral there in the sky. That's just such a beautiful card. Okay, we got... Oh, shoot. Dang, folks. An Umbreon GX Pristine 10 just showed up. <laughs> this is one of the nicest cards. Um... You know, it is so hard. When I, I had an event and I sold uh, a nine of an Umbreon I pulled and like as as much as, as happy I was to get like close to two hundred bucks for an Umbreon in a ten, like I was happy, but at the same time I was like, I missed the Umbreon. <laughs> and so I was very happy to get this one in a ten. Check that out. There's not a lot in the world right now. Population is still very low for this card. Um, who knows where it'll be in the coming years. Uh, this is from 25th anniversary Japanese uh, celebration uh, from the promo pack. Pristine 10 Umbreon. Dang. Folks, I'm also going to make a video just showcasing a bunch of Umbreons. Uh, there's a glimpse at the perfect 10s. We have Rosa in a 10 from Dream League. She should go with... The other roses. Some of these are not really organized yet. This this should go next to the other rosa. We gotta keep it together. Why, why don't we hang with me while I, I organize at the same time? <laughs> there we go. Oh shoot, we got another one. Oh shoot, we got another one. Oh, but this one is a perfect 10. And we have a pristine 10. We have a lot of these rosas here. Rosa. Rosa, cute Pokemon girl, perfect 10. Dang, let's get her all out here. Rosas, come here, come here. Come here for a, a video shoot. Let's see, we have a perfect and a perfect. So we have two pristine and two perfect. I just got these back. Um, this... I think it was on Saturday, so. And then some of them came on Monday. Pristine 10. Pristine 10. Perfect 10. And a perfect 10. That is crazy. That's how good Dream League grades. Like, man, that is just insane. Unreal. Blaziken VMAX, one of my favorite cards to have in a 10. When this, when I, when I saw this, I was freaking out. I was like, Blaziken VMAX in a perfect 10? To have a big card, to have a big SR card like this in a 10 is insane. To, like this card loose in like a near mint is going for like 100 to 150. And then once you get this in a perfect 10, I could argue is 800 to 1,000 bucks. 
the artwork is just it this is just i'm speechless <laughs> you have like all the little pokemon cards zangoose uh sabo inteleon in the background blaziken oh my gosh that is just such a great card to have in my collection uh dang we have some more uh ash and pikachu or red and pikachu i can never tell if this is red or ash i'm gonna guess it's red i'm gonna guess this is red look at that we have two pristine tens Sometimes you you get a little like, man, I wish that had a perfect 10. But at the same time, it's like, hey, just be happy you got a pristine 10. <laughs> Shoot, where, where is... Should I put this next to the other ones? See, again, th these are a little unorganized where they're not all next to each other. There we go. So we have three of them. I don't know if you remember earlier in the video. One two three interesting surface on that one or well, surface on this one and centering it must be like kind of hard to different differentiate 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 I, I guess that's one of the words i can't say anyways um <laughs> between like a nine five and a ten because it must be really, really close on some of these. Charizard in a 10. Any Charizard in a 10 can like easily go for over 500 bucks. Isn't that nuts? Check that out. Charizard V. Next we have Jolteon. But look, we got another Jolteon. But wait, we have another pristine Jolt. Oh, that's a perfect 10. Perfect 10. And one more pristine tan. Okay. One more look. I know it's the same card. Jolteon with the corners. This one's with the surface. This one's with the centering. <laughs> I guess they all have nice edges. And this one got perfect. It, it does make me wonder. It does make me wonder like... I don't know, maybe when you send a bunch, they can kind of compare. Or it makes me wonder, you know. Makes me wonder the difference between a 9.5 and a 10 for the subgrades. Because you got to be really, really detailed with, uh, I don't know, with the subgrades. Okay, here we go. Impidimp. Perfect 10. That's a funny card to have in a 10. Impidimp. Shiny. We have... Pikachu V. Pikachu V. This is from VMAX Climax. Perfect 10. <laughs> it, it, it's weird when you get a little... Um, Man, I'm just sucking with my words right now. Um, the, oh, I just had it. That's not a perfect 10. Decentralized? That's not the word I'm looking for. Decentralized? Or like your... Uh, like man, like if you if you just had this card in your collection, you'd be like, oh my gosh, it's a CGC ten, perfect ten. But then like <laughs> maybe it's having like so many tens that I'm like, oh, we got another one, cool. Pristine ten, perfect ten, and another perfect ten. This is a beautiful card. So happy to have this one. Um, similar to the Dream League one. Anything with red and Pikachu in a perfect 10 is nuts. It's just nuts. Um, we still have a couple more slabs to get through. A couple more boxes to get through. Calyrex. Shadow Rider. So I guess apparently this is the Calyrex guy. And this is like... Um, 
S- what's his name? He has a different name. There's Glacier, and then there's like, ah, I forget his name. Shadow Horse, dude. That's another CSR from VMAX Climax. Apparently, VMAX Climax grades really well. This is a perfect 10 Urshifu. I remember pulling this not too long ago. The turnaround times for CGC right now is like 50 days, which is really nice. VMAX Climax. There is that big Urshifu on that path right there. I love the black and gold cards from this set. Oh my gosh, Surfing Pikachu, Pristine 10. Crazy to have one of these promos in a 10. Crazy. We have Charizard and Braxton, CGC 10. I don't know why I'm saying CGC 10, like it's it's all CGC. Um, I do have a PSA collection. Um, but again, I, I, CGC is my favorite company. They, you know, if there is any issues, um, they work on it. Um, they're not, they're not perfect, you know, they're not perfect, but you know, no grading company is pristine 10 Pikachu V pristine 10. Pikachu V. This is one of my favorite cards from Vivid Voltage. In fact, this is my favorite card from Vivid Voltage. This is one of the nicest Pikachus, in my opinion. Just like, just giant Pikachu right there. It just looks so good. So happy to have that one. Another Urshifu. You know, I wasn't a big Urshifu fan, and then he started to grow on me. We have the Rapid Strike and the Double Strike, which I'm not like a huge TCG player. Oh, this is a perfect 10, by the way. Dang. Again, the difference between like a Pristine and Perfect is like, it's so hard just to get a Pristine 10 and then have a Perfect is so rare that they sell for really high. Um, dang, so close to getting a Perfect. We have a Pristine 10 Rayquaza GX. Um... What's interesting is I sent in like a couple thousand cards to CGC and I got like two, maybe three um, tens back. And then recently I um, sent in um, less than a thousand and I got like close to a hundred CGC tens back. So. Uh, they might have some sort of change in grading. Dang, I just I just need to look at these again. Sorry, I know we just showed them off. I was talking, but dang, look at this Rayquaza. Honestly, this is better than Charizard. Think of the hidden face Charizard in your mind. Isn't this black Rayquaza GX better? And it is. Even though it's a promo, I th I think it's better than uh than the Charizard. I said it. We have Leafeon VMAX. Pristine 10. Leafeon V from EV Heroes and a Pristine. Oh, perfect. Perfect 10. I think, I know it would be kind of cool is if they changed like this blue. You know, like how BGS does um, like a black label for their 10s. It might be kind of cool to see a different color. I know they do like green and yellow for other different slabs. If it was a perfect 10, it would. I know I know you get the gold 10, but it would be kind of cool to see uh, something unique with the the rest of the, the label. Pristine 10 Blastoise from Celebrations. Very difficult to get a 10 from Celebrations in English. Very, very difficult. Um, but Japanese EV Heroes, it grades well. Here's Espeon in a 10. Perfect 10. Again, we're going to be looking through a bunch of Umbreons and Espeons in the next video. Perfect 10. 
Espeon, one of my favorite alternate arts from EV Heroes. Um, dang. Okay. Okay, guys. Are your eyes open? Are your eyes' eyes open? Put one eyeball on the left one and one eyeball on the right one, and uh, you think you're saying double, but no. I mean, yes. I mean, no. We have two. <laughs> that is crazy. I like how Espeon's using its psychic powers. Like, what is he doing? Cleaning the library? Or is he reading? What is he doing? He's just moving a bunch of stuff with his mind. That is such a nice S. Oh, we have a third one. Espeon V. Do we have a fourth one? We do. Another one. Dang, we have two pristines and two perfects. Do you see that? Holy smokes. Kind of hard to hold four slabs. There it is. Pristine and perfect. Espeon. CGC 10s. Wait. There's more. Oh, shoot. Never mind. This is Charizard. We got big boy Charizard. Oh, so close to getting a perfect. I mean, all the pristine 10s are really just one off. Just a 0.5 off from being perfect. Um, again, I don't know how CGC grades or what they really do to determine, like, you know, are the edges really a 9.5? Can we really argue that it's a 9.5? I mean, I, I mean, shoot. That's tough. These edges look really, really good. Like, I don't see a speck of whitening, you know? Shoot, I mean, I don't know. Can you really? I mean, heck, I don't know. Charizard VMAX. Grateful to have this one in a pristine tan. Although a perfect would be crazy. This is from Shiny Star V. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And uh, next we have Espeon in a 10. Sylveon. Oh, did I say Espeon? I meant Sylveon. Sylveon. I want to give it enough time so everyone can like see it and then not waste too much time. Here's a perfect 10 Leafeon. Dang, didn't we already have a perfect 10 Leafeon earlier? Where's his Le where's I gotta I gotta put it back with the Leafeons. Yeah, this one got a perfect two. Two perfect Leafeon V's. Unbelievable. Vaporeon. Perfect 10. We have some Vaporeons coming up. No way. Guys. I just realized we have three. Three perfect tens. Of Vaporeon V. Holy smokes. No way. Perfect, perfect Vaporeon. I want to show one slab in particular. I don't, I don't know if it's in here or not. Hmm. I don't know where he is. We have another Vaporeon I want to showcase. It's okay. Dang, check that out. <laughs> Holy smokes. That is Vaporeon. Three Vaporeons, perfect tens. Oh man, I wanted to showcase uh, Vaporeon. Here's uh, S uh, Sylveon in a 10. And then we also have an Umbreon and a Pristine 10. Where is that card? I wonder if I have it. I gotta go check something. Dang. Let me go put two cards up and I'll, I'll, I'm gonna go 
run to find a card. I know I'm making a video and you generally don't want to like leave while you're recording, but dang, I want to showcase a particular card. Oh, here's another, another Umbreon and uh, Corviknight. This is a perfect 10 Corviknight. We can leave Corviknight up and we'll put a uh, Glacier on here as well. So you guys can look at it longer. <laughs> Dang, I just breezed over that one. Actually, you know what? Let's let's put let's put Glacion and uh, Cormorite back. This card, check this card out. That's uh, the champion Leon's Charizard, pristine ten. Okay, <laughs> I found the card I wanted to show. Um, this card is Vaporeon VMAX. This is a Japanese promo card. There's only 3,000 I think they made in the world. Very hard to get. And look, you have Melotic, um, some other Jellicent, I think that is. Maybe not. Wishy washies. Like, there's just so much happening in this card. PSA 10, Vaporeon V Max. Um, the value of this card is, is, is like $3,000. Isn't that crazy? We're looking at like a $3,000 card right here. And in English, like it goes for like loose. The English version is going for like 20 to 30 bucks. But this card is just, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. That is definitely one of my prized possessions. Um, here's some other loose cards that we have. Look at all these Charizards we got. I might do another CGC submission. In the near future, we got more Charizards. We should put them here. We pulled a God Pack where we got all the Sword and Shield gym trainers, gym leaders. Okay, and yeah. So I know there's actually, what, nine different trainers because there's a difference between... Um, Sword and Shield, so let's count one, two, three, four, five. I know this is one, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Why do we have ten? Shouldn't we have nine? Maybe this guy isn't a gym leader. I don't think. Is Gertie a gym cheater? Gym leader? I don't know. That's okay. Um, as I grabbed that Vaporeon, <laughs> I grabbed some Kobe Bryant's, uh, PSA 10, Kobe, Kobe, PSA 10. Um, the reason why I like Kobe Bryant is just his work ethic and his mentality, you know, to overcome challenges, to push yourself, work hard do your best and just surpass your potential surpass your limitations okay we got we got more tens coming up espion v this one uh no no subgrades still got a pristine 10 nice to have you don't necessarily have to pay for subgrades to get a 10 dang i'm gonna have to take off this thing in here Let's re-sleeve this. You know why we're talking? We, we got time. This video is only like 40 minutes so far. We got time. <laughs> so much for trying to make a quick video. Sometimes I... I why, why I sleeve it... Like... Weird... Stuff comes... Stuck in it. 
some people don't even sleeve them. I do recommend you get these uh, slab sleeves. These hold uh, PSA and CGC slabs. Um, I don't think they hold BGS. You got to get a different one for BGS. And GMA is actually pretty big too. There's Leon. We got Gyarados. Gyarados with his mouth open all the time. Pristine 10. And then we have Lapras. That's a nice one to have. Lapras in a pristine 10. Up next, we got Glaceon with his bow cut. Let's see what I want to do here. Let's try a different stand. Let's try using one of these stands here. Sylveon, this is a custom made stand. Sylveon, if you like the evolutions, we got tons of evolutions coming up. Vaporeon. Kinda wish I do have did have subgrades on some of these. This is Savali. Savali GX. Again from Dream League. Told you Dream League does really well. This is Eevee Heroes. Eevee Heroes does really well. Uh, looks like VMAX Climax is also printed really, really nice to get a lot of tens. Perfect. Flareon V. I believe this is a card that I didn't actually buy the subgrades, yet it came with subgrades because it got a perfect. There is Flareon. Shoot, let's just take out a pile like this. Because I'm like reaching over here. Okay, we're going to go back to this. Sylveon. Sylveon V, Sylveon GX, nice card. These don't even have subgrades, and that is crazy. Cause you know, like if if I sent these in a year ago, <laughs> these would come back a nine five. So I guess they. I mean, I'm. I'm happy to have these tens, but I sent in like a thousand other cards that were graded very, very strictly here, and I didn't get tens on a lot of cards I wanted to. Um, you know, and, and, and it was the same exact card. We had a perfect Don and Piplup. So. I don't know. I just think that's interesting. Like, if I sent... Um, dang, that is a perfect 10. <laughs> Don and Piplup. If I sent, like, let's take this for an example. This is from... Skyscraping Perfection. One of the alt arts. If I sent this card in a year ago, could have came back a 9.5. But now it's a pristine 10. So, I mean... There's kind of a, a shift or a change. So I mean, I like having tens. I'm sure a lot of people, a lot of collectors, would prefer to have tens over nine fives. But how does that change the value, the market, the population? I don't really think we have a population report, which is, you know, it's not a big deal to me. It really isn't. Um. So 10s, I feel like, are still relatively hard to get, but I do notice that there are more coming back. Jolteon V. Oh, we got another. We got a Ninetales. Pristine 10. So now we can add them to the Ninetales collection. We have, oh, oh that's not Ninetales. Um, yeah, there are a lot of differences between the grading companies, BGS, CGC, D 
DSG, PSA, and GMA, and there's some other grading companies as well. But you gotta go with CGC, hands down, hands down. We got Magikarp, pristine 10, very nice card to have. It's really interesting how Celebrations reprinted this card. That's a, that's a good choice, good pick. Good pick to, to choose this one. That's actually really like the first shiny in existence. The shiny magic card. We have Houndoom. Pristine 10. And I think we have one more box to get through. Stay with me. If you're still watching, I mean like, dang. Thank you. <laughs> we have more tens to get through here. Um, the last box. Let's just grab a bunch. It's okay if they're out of order. They're not really in any particular order right now. But, I, dang, I didn't get all subgrades on a lot of these. Coughing. Shadow Rider. I still can't remember this this horse's name. Stir. I can't. Stirrier? Stir. Oh, man, I can't. I was just looking it up today because I, I didn't get the extension for sword and shield so i don't i don't even know his name we got restaurant amazing rare um dang i you know like I, as much as i love cgc guys um if you're gonna give if you guys like look at this 10 it's it, it hurts me because sometimes you guys get it right and you center it nice and then sometimes it's not centered and like you're a grading company and you're like grading the centering of Pokemon cards. I mean, please, please, please uh, center the, the number. It just, it, you know, you can, it's so obvious. It's, it's if you, however you guys stamp it or whatever, like make it accurate, make it centered. Farfetch, Farfetch V. Here's a pristine 10. Uh, Yvotal. I think this was like one of the first 10s I ever had. Isn't it weird how like a card is more meaningful if it's like... I have my first graded Pokemon card and like I just will never sell it because it was your first one that you ever had in your collection. Weavile. Pristine 10. All right, boys and girls, let's finish this up. Zorok GX from Shining Legends. Wait a second. Shining Legends? Isn't it Hidden Fates? Why does it say Shining Legends there? Oh, maybe there were Shining Legends packs in there? In the box? Oh, I don't know. Interesting. Zorok. And we have Dragapult VMAX. Oh, this is a perfect one. Dang. We'll take perfects all day. All day, son. All day. Motris. Motris. Motris in a pristine 10. Look at that little shine and sparkle all over it. Okay, we have a good half a box to get through. We got Motris. Motris V. We have another Pristine 10. Dragapult. I don't even know if it's worth putting it on a stand because I'm going through them so fast. Uh, Gallade. Perfect 10. Again, Dream League. Such a beautiful set. I'm glad that I bought a lot of Dream League and like ripped a bunch of packs open and got it graded because man, Dream League just did so well in terms of uh, grading. Okay, let's run through this. Charizard V. I believe I got this one from Going Twice. Charizard V. Folks, if you're not following me on Instagram, it's Charmander. I'm also on whatnot under Charmander. 
why not is its own story its own video <laughs> perfect 10 alolan nine tails gx again who knows where these platforms will be a year from now um ebay's doing things whatnot's doing things cgc is doing things um the hobby is evolving it's changing it's growing there's new players to the game new new, new collectors old collectors charizard 2021 pristine 10 got this one for my friend celebrations the japanese 25th um, Charizard. I think this Charizard is actually a lot harder to get in Japanese, and it looks nicer too. Shoot, look at that! I I just I knew I had to get this card um, because it's Charizard, <laughs> and it's just it's iconic to the the Holy Grail first edition Charizard. Jolteon, two thousand twenty one. I don't know why I said the year. This this came out like literally last year. We have tons of jolt. Like I'm just gonna breeze through them because we have so many tens. Vaporeon. Oh, we have another Vaporeon here. I really do like. Is this blue or Gary? I think some people call them green, in Japanese. Interesting. Flareon. I like how. We have the whole set in a 10. Jolteon, Vaporeon, Flareon, and a couple Eevees. Interesting how they put Bill in there. One, two, two Eevees, two Flareons, Jolteons, Flareons. Dragapult. I love Dragapult. Nice one to have in a 10. Juniper, Professor Research in a 10. Last but not least, we have the Dene in a pristine tan. All right, folks, this was, I know, kind of a long video, but it, 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 <laughs> it took a long time to go through each card. I didn't want to have to, like, rush through each card. I wanted to make sure each card had enough screen time. Um, we have more cards we'll be looking through. In another video make sure you like comment subscribe find me on whatnot and instagram even tiktok um where i post more content that's it for now thanks for watching um i'll be making another video or two soon